administrative action in the context of intellectual property uh, is a very fast, cost-effective means of seeking redress for uh, an infringement or um, a, a breach of some legal obligation. And most uh, forms of intellectual property have a relevant administrative body that governs that situation. Uh, and I would say 90% of the cases in China where infringement take place are dealt with through the administrative process. Uh, it's fairly cost effective, takes about three or four days um, to make a submission, file that submission and then uh, have that submission dealt with um, by the authorities. New Zealand companies looking at uh, the cost issue, um, I think, need to be aware first of all that um, if they don't properly manage it uh, and budget for it, um, it can become uncontrollable uh, and can lead to huge sort of out of control costs. Cease and desist letters are um, a very effective way of dealing with infringement if infringement arises. Uh, in terms of costs, generally as they would be in New Zealand, so anywhere between sort of 700 US dollars to, to sort of 1500 US dollars. Administrative action, that whole process right through to punishment, the costs are going to be somewhere in the region of four to eight thousand US dollars. We're seeing some very good, fair, fast decisions coming out of the Shanghai courts and the Beijing courts, and more and more now coming out of the tier two cities.